Hello, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745, and we're testing out the Grey Goose, the uh, space race event British um, naval vessel. Don't know if we really want to call this a ship. Not really. And taking a look at it. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and of course, like the video. We're dropping artillery. That gives well. Do we want to drop artillery now? I don't know. Oh, there we are. Or yes, I normally play arcade, and they're naval. Um, this thing's pretty fast at about a hundred kilometer or you know, kilometers uh, an hour in a straight line once you get it going. Obviously, doing donuts here in the cap zone don't go quite that fast. So yeah, I did say subscribe, like, yeah. And after this uh, mission, we'll take a look at it back at dock. A little more detailed. So if you want to wait around or skip to that. This is partially, you know, out of interest, but also if you're thinking of grinding up for one of these or <clears throat> later buying one on the marketplace, whether you think this would be worth it. Um, I don't play a lot of British ships. I know there's a somewhat similar, and we will take a look at that, um, standard, you know, non-premium vehicle. So. We'll take a look at that in comparison to this, but I haven't really played that vehicle. I normally play the American lineup. And yeah, I ground my way through the low-tier Japanese. That was god-awfully painful. That's the most painful thing in the game. I'm way out there. We're not even going to bother shooting at you or you. You see, yeah, we're right at about 100, go up to about like 102, 103 or something, some moments. Some air inbound. Well, I'm going to release the the, a, the other gunners to target the air. There we are. Come on, get the rain. Get the rain. Spawn, okay. <laughs> no, I really didn't come over here to spawn. Snipe, oh, got somebody behind me, too. Oh, boy. Ground target, service targets, I should say, not ground. Let's see. And boom. Okay, boom, yes, let's come back as another one of these. We should come on with the guidance for the torpedoes. That's one of the things I really like about the arcade, because I suck at trying to deal with and I do know that I did notice that we turned it over to surface targets and we were sunk by aircraft. Oh one minute none get to air. Point up in the sky.
don't want to hit the friendly up there either. I noticed he was going quite close. Okay, forward. Get down, get, get down, get down. You don't really want to actually be going quite straight at him because it keeps one of the guns out of operation. I did notice that went earlier. Playing. Okay, got to trail the target more. And no, we don't want to run into this thing called land around the corner here. We don't want to be doing this because we really limited down to just the Orlikin gun, I think, in, fr in the front. But, see, I was thinking I'm going to come and down, down, get your Okay, you're already sinking. We're here doing this is more favorable to the. of it. We got torpedoes. Uh, oh, we got an LS behind us? That's who's launching the damn torpedoes, probably. These guys are wicked little things. Okay, come around here. I have any torpedo damage. Okay. Surface targets, surface targets, and we died. Oh, that's all the backups we could use. Well, okay. Um, well, we'll grind this for just a moment, and then we will. Again, if you want to jump ahead to, we we'll take a look at the ships in dock. Happy to have you do so. Any air up now? No, let's go to surface targets then. I think it's just what the 50s and the. Oh, those Lewis or Vickers. Um, I think your Lewis guns. Be played at most any BR, quite honestly. Even in the big open maps at sea, especially in arcade, because although you get the targeting help or target location help still with that. Oh, come on, get on. Okay, he's going in. Never mind. Um, you can spam out torpedoes at long range and go after big, big ships with them and. Quite fun. Come on, people, let's do this. Now, compare it to we're going half as fast with this fair mile as that other vessel. The Grey Goose, yes, I remember what we're shooting. I forget the S. Yeah, I don't know. No, that's, I think something else. I, S G something. Yeah, forget the numbers or the letters. No. Oh yeah. We're, he's what plunging into the earth. Okay. Yes. That's not maybe the best tactic to do. Yeah. Come on. Let's. If we're gonna shoot, let's get at least somewhat close to where we could actually maybe hit. The enemy is controlling most of the docks. All gunners, hold your fire. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Yeah. It's dangerous sometimes to shoot at things like Corvettes. They get angry and shoot back, but he's on fire.
going after B. I can't get to C even with all this time that's available. Maybe whatever that he, he is out there, he can go to A? Most? I think all of them. I think this, this counts as all of them. Bunch of people back at sea, they should go, 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 go. Is there somebody over here? No, there's no. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hello, mother truck. I hate the way it goes up to the air when it's. Default shooting rather high. Come on, hit them, hit them. Not enough free people. Oh. Okay, well, looks like we're not going to win this one. This, That's a wicked boat. Oh, that's a wicked boat. Well, no, let's... Return to hangar. Um, yes, yes. We want to return to hangar. Okay, let's come on into hangar. Okay, so the SGB, yeah. Gray goose, gray goose, yeah. Gray goose. I see right up there about motor gunboat. Yeah, so as you saw, um, Rather nice. I like its speed, the turn of speed. It has the 76 millimeter gun here, quick fire in the back. That's pretty decent. And you can, you didn't show it, you can do an Alt 2 and go over to, to manning that. I think you can also do an Alt 3 and go over manning the aircraft, anti aircraft, which are two dual um, Vickers uh, 50 cals. So those are, and they, they call them 12.7s, and they probably are 12.7s, but they're really 55 caliber, I believe. Um, and then, but you normally set up to control the 40 millimeter and the 20 millimeter up front, and as you can see that they're both in line there, is why if you are going straight at an enemy target, it's not a good thing. Get a little bit of an angle like that, or something slightly oblique, and you get both of them on target. And it comes with two torpedoes. Pretty good. Now let's, I don't have it ground up yet, but we can do a preview. This is S304 instead of 309. And we can preview this. So, um, okay, so this one has 240 mils instead of the 20 millimeter, plus a 20 millimeter back here. So this and a 20 millimeter back here. So this is a two 20 millimeters. So this is a bit better armed vehicle. Uh, it looks like everything else is going to be the same. So the premium is not as good as the standard version of it. Um, we can look at modifications. Yeah, um, I'm not seeing anything. We can go look at the other ones, but um, don't think there's any special. I just have a. Um, a loan of the vehicle for seven days. It gave me um, preview to preview it here. So yeah, um, I'm not seeing anything great um, different. I don't know. They probably both had smoke screens and whatnot. So for both being three O's. Uh, this is a better um, vessel than this one. I can't see it any other way. So does that mean you shouldn't get this? Well you do have the um, premium reward um, advantage for just being in a premium vehicle versus a um, standard vehicle. Um, you do have that. 
so you earn more um, grinding efficiency, if you will. Um, yeah, other than that, no. It's, mm, it's better to use this. Now, if you're playing arcade and you want to play it, say, 3-0 for whatever reasons, that gives you three, three, three O's exactly in your lineup instead of two and then having to jump down to you know like we were at a um, rather slow fair mile we could have gone into the dark class motor torpedo boat here or something else obviously but you're dropping down in brs or you can come up and get three threes now once you're getting into um the flower class eh. Um, I, it, yeah, not that great, but, um, probably pretty good at that battle rating, actually. Uh, I haven't played it yet, obviously, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm, one way or another thing, you know, just getting is just to put, just fill out my collection, of, as it were. Obviously not everything is collected, but, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. So, no, I don't overly recommend this vehicle unless you just want to have the complete set or you want three three threes and this would be your third one then sure it's fairly decent we saw it being used there so um love to hear your thoughts and again if you haven't already please subscribe like the videos share the videos with a friend or an enemy or a random person that you don't meet on the street anymore Thanks, Eris. Thanks so much.